Nissan's next generation LEAF was expected to have a battery pack option to push the range over 200 miles in order to compete with Tesla's Model 3 and GM's Chevy Bolt TV, but it ended up with a 40 kWh battery pack enabling 150 miles of range. The Japanese automaker did say that a longer range version would come by the end of the year, but now a report claims that it will offer much more than just more range. Push EVs claims it obtains slides, apparently from Nissan, disclosing information about the upcoming Nissan LEAF 2019, which should be released by the end of the year. Based on the report, the new version of the vehicle would feature a 60 kWh battery pack as expected, but also a new 160 kW electric motor and 11 to 22 kW onboard charger. The new battery pack would also be widely different from Nissan's previous battery pack technology. First off, they are reportedly changing battery cells from AESC, Nissan's own battery company which they sold this summer, to LG Chem. The new battery pack is also reportedly equipped with a thermal management system, which would be a big step up for Nissan. More importantly, all those changes would reportedly enable a new DC fast charging rate of 100 kW image and video is the chart that Push EVs released about the difference between the standard next gen LEAF and the new one coming for the model year 2019. Falcon Tire just announced the all-new 2019 Subaru SN3 Row Family Hauler will ride on their ZIEX CEO 01 all-season tires. The tires will be the only brand Subaru will use on the new Ascent all-wheel drive vehicle when it rolls off the line in Lafayette, Indiana. The Falcon tires should give improved significantly enhanced hydroplane resistance and stability in wet conditions because of the unique design to effectively evacuate water from the tires when driving in severe conditions. Falcon says, the Ascent tire uses four circumferential grooves to reduce hydroplaning and will give the three-row vehicle improved stability. Additionally, chamfer tread block corners enhance even more performance, the support tread block bars will minimize tread squirm, and a solid center rib improves handling response according to the tire manufacturer. The Falcon tires are also OE equipment on the Nissan Rogue SUV. Subaru will fit the new Ascent with two sizes of the CX CEO 245-68 R18, Ascent standard model and 245 50s R20, Ascent Limited trim. Subaru will also bring their vehicle dynamic control VDC technology to the new Ascend. Originally developed for the aerospace industry, VDC comes standard on the new family hauler. In three words, VDC prevents skids. The system uses sensors to let the Ascend know exactly where you want the vehicle to go, where it's actually going and makes sure those two places are the same. In a curb, you know where you want to go, but wet road conditions could cause the wheels to move laterally, sending the car into the ditch. If this happens, VDC will reduce engine power and or apply the brakes to slow down individual wheels, pulling ascent back into your intended path through the curve. The Falcon tires working in concert with the VDC technology should make the all-new 2019 Subaru Ascent 3-row crossover a safer vehicle for families. Ruin Transportation will be adding five Tesla semi-trucks to its fleet as early as 2019. The Iowa-based transportation company which provides dedicated contract transportation and supply chain solutions in the United States has been reportedly working with Tesla throughout the development process of the quad electric motor semi-truck. The company will be an early adopter of the Tesla semi, helping the Elon Musk-led electric car company test the vehicle prototypes before production begins. James Cade, Vice President of Fleet Services for Ruin said, These new trucks stand to revolutionize interstate transport and change the way we do business. 
Ruhm has always been a leader in efficient transport and logistics, so it makes perfect sense to explore what these trucks can do for us and our customers. Ruhm's business in bulk transportation services for contract carriage shippers includes solutions for logistics management, load management, route optimization, and international crating services, among others. The company looks to benefit from the Tesla Semi's lower cost of ownership than its diesel counterparts. Though specifics for the all-electric semi-truck remain sparse, aside from hints that the $180,000, 500-mile range semi will be able to replenish 400 miles in as little as 30 minutes of charging through Tesla's Mega Charger network, Ruin nevertheless expressed their excitement to be involved with early development. Kate according to Des Moines Register said, We have many questions as the trucks continue to be developed. But we are excited for the potential they hold and are working directly with Tesla to get the answers we need before putting this technology to use. It is our hope that using the Tesla tractor trailers will eventually reduce our costs, keep our drivers and cargo safer and help us continue our tradition of industry-leading service and reliability. Production of the Tesla Semi is expected to begin sometime in 2019. The California-based company has seen increased interest in the all-electric big rig since its debut late last year. Ruin joins several high-profile companies from across the world and as far-reaching as Beta in the Middle East, that have placed orders of Tesla's electric truck. Among the enterprises that have committed to the big rig are UPS, JB Hunt, beer giant Anheuser-Busch, Cisco, PepsiCo, Walmart, and distribution companies in Europe. A prototype of the Tesla Semi was recently spotted driving down a local street between Tesla's headquarters in Palo Alto and its Fremont factory. The sounds from its four Model 3 derived electric motors and incredible acceleration are unmistakable. High demand for its e-power system in Japan has left Nissan to conclude it should bring the system to the US technically an extended range electric vehicle ERV, layout. This system enhances fuel economy and acceleration, leaving Nissan no customers delighted in Japan. Nissan hopes that delight will translate to the US as well, but it probably will not be on the subcompact note here in the US. Automotive News spoke with Nissan's chief planning officer Felipe Klein last week, who confirmed the e-power system would find its way to US products. Klein declined to confirm which US products would get the electrification treatment, but alluded that it would be higher-end models capable of absorbing the added costs of e-power. At least some models have been confirmed. Last week, Klein's boss, Nissan CEO Hiroto Saikawa, confirmed plans to utilize the e-power system in upcoming Infinity products. Saikawa went so far as to confirm that all Infinity products that launch beyond 2021 will be electrified by e-power or be full battery electric vehicles. Nissan first launched e-power in its home market back in 2016. The 2017 Note is the first full year of e-power and has seen a take rate of 65%, according to Nissan. Owners are appreciating its quick acceleration just as much as the fuel economy, leaving the Note as a more high-end offering than it has been historically. The e-power system is basically a range extender. An electric motor is constantly propelling the axle, while the onboard gas engine is there simply to charge the battery. Think of ePower as Nissan's version of the Chevrolet Volt's powertrain technology, with the minor variances. In Japan, the Note ePower offers 77 mpg, but Japan's testing process does not directly translate to the EPAs in the US. Neither executive offered any kind of timeline as to when ePower will arrive to its US vehicles. Given Nissan's affinity for SUVs these days, it seems like one of its crossovers would be a logical pick for e-power treatment. 